How's it? Today we are creating a sunrise and in After Effects. We're going to create this in Illustrator and when we animate it, the sun will get bigger and the sun will rise and blue sky will appear. And uh, I had a sunrise joke for this tutorial, but I forgot it. But maybe it will dawn on me later. I don't know. <laughs> so in Illustrator, we're going to hit Command N for New and we're going to choose Video and Film. And we're going to choose um, 720. We're going to make it 720. So HDTV, 720. And we're going to hit Advance. RGB is good. Screen is for the screen. We're not going to print this. Uh, transparency grid. Let's turn that off. OK, you see this transparency grid? We don't want that grid. Um, that's OK. And preview, um, that's fine. And we're going to hit OK. Okay, now these green lines, these are guides that kind of show you where the screen would be. Um, the black one is where the edge of the screen is, and this is called like safe zones. You don't want to put important information too close to the edges of the screen because some screens are curved and it might get cut off like back in the day. So let's go ahead and create our um, sky. And what we're going to first do is use a rectangle tool, R, and we're going to do one third sky, okay, one third sky, and we're gonna choose a blue, but make it a lighter blue and something cheery blue. This sounds good. And we're not gonna stroke it, so we're not gonna do that, and we should be good with that. Now we're gonna do one more rectangle, so V as in Victor, and you can just Command C, Command V that, and. Um, you can either stretch it down and make a um, make it to that size, or you can just create a new rectangle and fill it to the rest of the edge. And this is going to be our grass. So let's choose our grass here, and I want a little bit brighter grass. Okay. Now um, we are now. The bad thing is each of these has to be a separate layer. So let's hit Command X on that grass. Okay. And in our layers, we're going to hit new layer. I'm going to call that layer grass. And we're going to hit command F and it'll paste it right back. We're going to go here and call that layer sky. And we're going to create a new layer that is um, right there. And we're going to call this mountains. Okay, now. Just so we don't like uh, touch these layers, we're gonna lock those. So highlight um, and hit Command Two, or you can come in here and um, hit the lock button. Okay. And next, what we're gonna do is create a mountain. So P for the pen tool. Okay. And make sure you have your mountains layer. And we're basically just gonna start creating our mountains like so. Okay. And when we create them, mountains are usually grayish. So you can pick like a gray. Now, if the mountain is close up, you want it light gray. OK. And I'm just going to paste another one here. And you can kind of overlap them like this. OK. Um, now, and if you mess up on a mountain, you can hit A as an apple. And you can kind of fix the pinpoints or make it smaller. OK. You can kind of drag your, this one in a little bit more if you need to. Okay, so just adjust it to how you want it. Um, now you can also, with P for pen, you can also create a mountain kind of like in the background, like this, perspective, and then change the color to darker gray. And it will appear like it's in the distance if you put that in the background, like so. Okay? Um, so to save time, I'm going to just. Uh, paste these in. Uh, but you can change your mountains to make them um, how you want them to be because you might have more time than my short video tutorial. Okay, so there we go. And let's move this one over. Okay, so there's our mountains. Now we're ready to command S for save. We can call this sunset. Okay, uh, save this in your Google Drive uh, folder. 
and hit save everything looks good hit save and we're good to go now let's go to our after effects and we're gonna hit a new after effects and remember we are in 720 okay HDTV uh, yeah let's do the um, 29 that looks good full drop frame black composition call this sunrise and hit OK <clears throat> now whenever we uh, transport our layers into here okay now it's important that this AI file um, is in your drive folder because we're going to be linking the files um, into uh, into our uh, folder system okay so let's go ahead and import those so what you can do is uh, drag those into here okay um, or open them Okay, you can search them and open them. And we're gonna have choose layers. So kind, we're gonna choose composition. Okay, and we're gonna choose, um, yep, that's good, and hit okay. Now what that does was um, it created different layers because I chose um, that, on that option. Okay, so yeah, make sure you choose that, not footage, composition. So now we have our layers in here, so we can just drag our layers down into After Effects. Now you see that they're not, um, they're the right size, but they're kind of out of position. So I can kind of like move these around, okay? And make sure they're in the right layer order, okay? Let's see. If one is not bigger than the other, you can hit S for scale. And you can kind of um, scale that up. So if you can, you can drag this number up down here. And we can scale that in our mountains. Now, layers work the same way um, in Photoshop and Illustrator. So we want our mountains on our top layer. I'm going to move that um, like up here. OK, so there's our mountains and our grass. And everything looks great. Um, oh, we forgot to make a sun. But that's OK because in After Effects, you can, um, it has similar tools. So we can use Eclipse tool. And we can, um, you can try to draw a sun, but you probably can't draw a perfect circle. Hold down the Shift key, and then you are able to draw a sun that's um, perfectly shaped. Although we're not going to use a red sun, we're going to use a yellow sun. And we're going to hit OK. And we are A-OK. -okay for that. Um, you may want to lock your background layers so they don't get annoying when trying to grab this sun. Um, stroke, um, we're not going to stroke this so you could just stroke it to zero and there's no stroke. Now what's going to happen is the sunrise is going to come up like this over the mountains and like so. And again that's probably going to be behind the mountains so you can put that behind actually behind everything except for our sky so our grass needs to be unlocked and move our grass layer there okay so we're gonna lock it and move our grass there so make sure you're in this order like here. And shape layer, we don't need to call that shape layer, right? Um, we can control click and rename this, call that sun. Now hit P for Paul, Chris Paul on your keyboard. And um, what that does is creates, it says position. So if, and with a little timer. Now if we click on that timer, okay, and we move the timeline across, and right now it's 30 seconds. Uh, you can just go for like 10 seconds go up to 10 seconds um, and now move your sun across the page kind of like up to here so you can off the page make sure it doesn't stop here it shows anything really off the page okay now if you scroll back you'll see the sun as it was coming through uh, like this okay if it didn't work, rewind and rewatch because I think you missed something. Um, now, if we click on the sun, you'll see this line. You can actually we can make it more of a bend to it, you know. 
So you can scroll through, okay. We can make it bend so it's, it's a little bit more, you know, natural looking. Okay, so it's like, ooh, it's like bending. Ooh, this one kind of dipped though. We don't want it to dip too much, right? Okay, so yeah, you can decide on the path of your sun. And there we go. Uh, now, um, wait, where's our sunrise? We totally don't have a sunrise because we need a gradient uh, for our sunrise. So uh, what we need to do is go get our sunrise. Um, <clears throat> now remember we created uh, this file, okay? Uh, so what we can do is file, okay? Save as a copy, and we can call this sunrise, sorry, sunset. We'll call it sunrise. What are we doing? Okay, and then we call that like two, and save, and okay. So now in your um, file, you should have an extra f um, file called sunrise two. And what we can do is open that, and we can um, go ahead and hide all the other layers except for sky. Now with the sky la layer, we're gonna change this into a gradient, okay? So we're gonna click on the gradient tool, Okay, and okay, and make sure it's not locked. So you might have to look down or hit Object Unlock All. Okay, and now we're gonna go to our gradient tool. Okay, and um, right here you'll see our gradient options. If you don't see it, you can go to Window and click on Gradient or Command F9. Okay. Now, with our gradient, we want um, linear. Okay. And you can kind of choose, let's see, from top to bottom. So we're going to change that, it was horizontal, we're going to change that to vertical. And it's not white to black, but you can change the colors. Okay, so we uh, can choose like an orange maybe, or yellow. Okay, and then this black. And again, you choose your own colors. You could probably pick a better, yeah, because it's usually yellow, right? From the sun. Okay, so we've just made our gradient. So hit Command S to save that. And let's go back to After Effects. And we're going to drag that Sunrise 2 into our file here. And again, do Composition, OK. And then you should be able to see um, our sky. Now we don't want these, we already have those, right? So we can just take this one and put that in position here. Um, we're gonna put that on top of the sky, okay? And make sure you position it exactly over that, okay? There we go. So now, when we scroll through, okay, there we go. Now, what we want to do is slowly um, dissolve this layer so that the sky, the blue sky, appears. So, with your, it's called Sunrise 2. And again, we're, what we're going to do is uh, rename sky, the blue sky one. I'm going to unlock that. Rename this blue sky. Okay. And if you double click a layer, um, it'll isolate that layer in a separate tab. And you may be like, oh no, what do I do? All you got to do is X out of that isolated tab. And so you're able to um, see that better. And I'm going to, there you go, blue sky. And I'm going to rename this 
set. Um, I'll call this gradient. <clears throat> now, hit o T. T as in Tom. Tom Brady. Um, so, and that will open up opacity. Okay, and what we're going to do is opacity. We're going to hit the stopwatch and then go back out to our 10 seconds. Okay, and then we're going to choose uh, zero for that. So what's going to happen is it's going to start out at 100%. You can see it. And as it goes on, it, see here it's at 58%. Here's at 46%. And then now it's at 0%. Um, and notice how it, it kind of changed too fast. Okay, If we want to delay that, all you got to do is move this. It's called a keyframe. This is when it starts, and this is when it stops. So if we move the keyframe, then the sunrise will will still be there. In about four seconds, it, then it will start to change. Then it will start to be get faster blue and then blue. So I'm going to change it maybe to five seconds. So the last five seconds, it will turn uh, blue a little bit faster. And that way we can enjoy our sunrise a little bit better. OK? Um, and then it'll get bluer faster as well. So these are definitely um, edible. You can't eat them, but you can change where they're, where they're at. Okay, so now we have um, our sunrise. And yeah, we should be good with our uh, beginning of animation. Hope you had fun. See ya.